Hey guys, what's up? The Average Kid here, and I have a great dual commentary with iRevanite here. Um, he's a great Aussie commentator. You should definitely check out his channel. More than worth going to check out. Also, this gameplay is super old, and it's my first ever Invincible. First Invincible I ever got in Halo 3. Also, the audio for the dual com is a little sketchy, but I tried to fix it up as best I can. We'll definitely make sure to have a better audio quality for our next dual com because we're definitely going to do some more. And uh, enjoy. Later, guys. Yo, what's up guys, The Average Kid here, and I got my main man, iRevanite, um, and if you're watching this on the Halo Fix, hello, hello, um, we're about to do a little dual commentary, and we're going to be talking about some interesting topics, and I'll let iRevanite take it away. Yeah, what's going on guys, iRevanite here, and so what we're going to be talking about is Halo 4, so some different aspects of it, things we're looking forward to, you know, just usual stuff, so yeah, where should we start? Um... Fuck it. Well, I guess. No, oh, go on. Go. Oh, oh, yeah, did, did. <laughs> are you? When are you getting Halo Four? Oh, release get... date. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the midnight launch for it. Yeah, MLG legit, of course. That oh, makes yeah. sense. Um, what about which which version are you gonna get? Are you gonna get the basic one or like the, the ultimate mega super awesome one that I don't know what it's called, but I think it costs more. Well, it definitely costs more money, but it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, there's no, like, mega super awesome one with Halo 4, because Bungie always brought out a Legendary Edition and a Limited Edition, which I always look for Legendary, because, you know, I'm a fucking nerd and shit. But this 343 is only releasing a Limited, so it doesn't come with any cool, like, bigger sculpture-looking thing like all the others did. But, but it comes with some extra stuff. That's yeah, it still I mean. comes with stuff. It comes with a 90-minute uh, uh, live-action movie, yep. which there's been some trailers for. And... Some DLC, I think, just some little bits and pieces for in-game. But either way, it's worth it. It's only like 40, 50 bucks extra, so... Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for as well. Yeah. Uh, just because, yeah, this stuff alone, and I can I can geek out. Maybe maybe, maybe I'll do a, a special, you know, I'll open the box. I'll show people. <laughs> put it on the YouTubes, and they'll be like, look at this guy, he's opening the box. <laughs> Man, I'm so cool, because I can open the box. <laughs> oh. So, uh... What are you What are you looking forward to the most for Halo Four from so far? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just say uh, either the campaign or the Spartan Ops because I love multiplayer, but my first priority when it comes to Halo has always been campaign, and those little flaming dog things that was in the trailer looked epic. Yeah, yeah. The the scenes that we got to see were pretty cool, even on E3. I was I was pretty excited. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, I may have got a little giddy, kind of like a little girl. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I did. I'm a bit nervous <laughs> about that thing though. Like he chucks a grenade and that catches it and throws it back. I'm like, no, it's armor lock all over again. <laughs> I think it's actually gonna bring a little bit of the the kind of like the fear back to the campaign that I had in, like, the original Halo. Like, when I was, I was actually, you know, kind of scared as I'm moving it, like, with something going to jump out at me. Am I, I going to get... shitting myself, man. I yeah. was, like, what, hey, cool. eight years old at that time? Nine years old? Like, those, the flood? Like, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, was a goner. So, yeah, I reckon the Spartan Ops look pretty good, because they're, like, um, mini campaigns kind of thing. Yeah. And from what I've seen of them, like from what I've read about them, one comes out every week or something like that, or every fortnight, a new Spartan Up. And yeah, it's got like actual storyline in it. So I thought that was absolutely badass. Yeah, that'll be pretty cool, at least to kind of like continue the campaign. That'll be pretty neat. Yeah. Not, not be like the same old thing, kind of like um, like whatever you do in Reach with the, with the aliens and you're shooting them and stuff. At least Spartan Ops will be a yeah. little bit more entertaining. All right, well, i got a bit of a question for you. If you could choose for them to bring, like, obviously it doesn't matter now, but if you could choose for them to bring one aspect from Halo 3 into Halo 4, what would it be? Oh, everybody's going to know what I'm going to say, because I, I talk about this all the time on my channel. But, uh, yeah, ranking system, 1 to 50, please. True Thank skill, you. yeah. Honestly, for me, I would have to say... I don't know, I think for me it's a combination of two things. Like I said, the campaign and multiplayer, they're very even for me. So if I had to say, it would either be the way you have to lead your shots in Halo 3, unlike the instant hit registration of Halo Reach. I hated that. I like the fact that you've got to lead your, sc your shots. It takes a little bit more skill. 
or the hidden uh, terminals from Halo 3 campaign. I thought those were cool. The data yeah. pads in Reach just sucked. They were so boring, they were so short, they were just cryptic. Maybe I think that would... Bit. Maybe if they brought something back like the skulls in Halo 3. Yeah, the skulls were cool. Like the way you got to find the skulls and everything and mul multiplies and stuff. Uh, but yeah, yeah they were very cool. Uh, I'm going to disappoint you on the leading your shots because Halo 4 is going to be hit scan. Everything's going to be hit scan. So that means point and shoot. Why'd you have to tell me that? You didn't have sorry. to ruin my day. You could have just let me di be disappointed on the day. Uh, I'm sorry. A I heard person. That's not a good thing to do on the first duel com. <laughs> nah, it's not too bad. I mean, out of everything, that wouldn't disappoint me that much. I mean, I'd be like, eh, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get over it. I'll deal with it. I'll be looking yeah. at all the epic graphics and be like, oh, epic graphics. This, this is making my day. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't be completely devastated if we didn't have a ranking system. I'm still going to play the game. I mean, I can say that, oh, no, no. No halos for me if there isn't a ranking system, but I'm gonna still play it. I I am 343's little whore in the corner. <laughs> I'm gonna do it no matter what. So yeah, hey, no matter what, I'm excited. Biggest thing right now, I'm 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 so excited, so pumped for this game. Yeah, I am really looking forward to it. I reckon it won't surprise me if there are a few things I'm not going to like, but you know what? You get that with every game. Every single game you play, there's always going to be a few things you like. They can't please everybody to the nail, but I still will play the shit out of it. I mean, I played absolutely the hell out of Reach, and I don't even like it that much, so as long as Halo 4 is just a little bit better than Reach, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy man. can't really think of anything else to say, which is very, very awkward in the commentary. Yeah, that's not very good. Um, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of good with you. Like, uh, yeah, I'm happy with the conversation where we've gone. We've gone down a good road. I think we've we've been, we've brought some light to things. Thank oh, <laughs> you always come when it comes to Halo. Yeah, I'm just hoping. Actually, I really want they um to do this. Like you said about the skulls before, I love the skull multipliers, man. Fuck, they were good. Me and my mate um Jim. We have completed the entire Halo 3 campaign, Reach campaign, and ODSD campaign using Legendary with all skulls except Blind. That's exceptional. Because I, I, that's one thing, dude. I mean, you, you can have your bragging rights with doing the whole thing with Blind on, but goodness gracious, does that piss me off. <laughs> yeah, I'd give people all the bragging rights for doing that with Blind because I couldn't do it. In derpy derpy mode, just like oh, I don't know how much ammo I have. I don't, oh, I don't, where am I? I, I? I automatically go to noob mode. Like I just don't know what I'm doing. Well, but, when you're uh, doing that many skulls on, you need to be really precise. Like fucking brutes are so hard to kill. Like our primary and secondary, the whole campaign, pretty much most of the time, is plasma pistol and battle rifle, because you need to pop their shields. Yeah, and then get a quick headshot. You could sit there with a warthog turret pumping them forever and they'll just be like, Bitch, please, bullets don't <laughs> bother me. Going rainbow. Pretty much. Throw bullets and you die. <laughs> so yeah, but we're thinking about actually uploading that pretty soon, because last time we did it, I didn't have a PBR, so now that I've got it, we're thinking about doing a playthrough of Halo 3 campaign with those skulls, those settings, and yeah, I'm going to upload them, so... I think that'll be pretty good. That'd be good. Something that's something that people haven't seen in quite a while, so I think that'd be pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, go I mean, great idea. We took some of the screenshots of um the leaderboard things at the end of them and posted them back when Bungie was in control up on the forums, and everyone's just like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> uh, I died a few times, but that is besides the point. Yeah, Jim's a lot better than I am. He's like the biggest Halo freak I've ever met in my life, but. I'm his protege, and he teaches me. Yeah. Does he read the books too? Oh yeah, I have as well. <laughs> I haven't read. I haven't read the books. That's probably something I should. I should progress to, because I am very interested in the story. I've always enjoyed the campaign as well. So. It's pretty nerdcore, and it's not something I openly broadcast in my personal life. But they are very good. Like. Oh. It's, it's, awesome. it's just a safe place. This is a safe place. <laughs> it's just all of our YouTube viewers and anybody who can possibly click on the video can watch it. <laughs> safe place. Don't worry about it. <laughs> only, only the Halo people are going to be searching for it. Safe place. Yeah. No <laughs> you got to you got to expect that anybody who's watching 
our commentary on YouTube has got to have some form of nerd core deep inside them, so... Yeah. Oh, these kids love it. They're eating it up. Eating <laughs> it up. I'm in the crap out of this. Well, I think we should probably end it here because we're sooner or later going to completely run out of things to say and shit's just going to get awkward. <laughs> we don't need... It's, it's almost like we're trying to say goodbye at the end of a, of a nice date. And I'm like, <laughs> Uh, trying to work your way to the goodbye kiss. <laughs> uh, uh, not sure. Oh, uh, uh, eh? No. No. All right. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll do the outro since you did the nice thing of doing the intro. Oh. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Halo Fix and Average Kids channel and my channel and all the channel that this will be spammed on. Love you guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that commentary. There will definitely be more dual comms with iRevanite to come. As always, be sure to check out my previous video. It's about uh, perfections and what you think, whether they're overrated and whatnot. And as always, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace, guys.